biggest hauls ever. Sephora got all of their really cute holiday stuff, so let's see. Like, the holiday packaging is so cute. Like, I literally want everything. First, I got the Peter Thomas Roth mask set. It says on the packaging, like, which ones for which. And what really caught my eye in this is the gold mask. You guys see that? That is so pretty. I've been on my self-care kick, so I'm definitely using this tonight. I also think that everything cute and mini and little is, like, the cutest thing ever. It's literally like I just saw a puppy. But this is, like, the mini version of all their masks, so you can try them out and then go buy the big one. Guys, do you see that packaging? We have a lot to go through. I know that Peter Thomas Roth is known for their eye masks, so obviously I had to hop on the trend and get one. I love their packaging. Everything's, like, so shiny and cute. Those are so cute. I kind of feel like I have to put one on. They just look so, like, mesmerizing. Oh, that's cold. I like how they're cooling, and, like, I didn't even put it in the fridge or anything. Like, it's just right out of the bag. I feel like I look so bougie. These are the Holor Hyaluronic Cloud Hydrogel Eye Patches. And to go with that, of course, I had to get this. Guys, this lighting is insane on this. It's the same thing, but, like, a uh, moisturizer. I'm going to have a whole new skincare routine. I don't know what to say. I, of course, had to get, like, literally a whole new skincare routine. I don't know. I kind of blacked out in there. It was crazy. From the same collection as this one, I got the hyaluronic, like, serum, as well as their exfoliating patches and their lip plumper, which I've seen people try this all over TikTok. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I'm so excited to try it. Also, these are such good gifts. Like, I would want to get this as a gift. You should go buy some Peter Thomas Roth. Anyway, I need to stop going to Sephora, so help me. Bye, guys. I love you. Okay, let me show you the rest of the stuff that I picked up from Sephora. There are so many goodies in here that I still have to share with you guys. Okay, so I picked up this set for $45. This is the Buxom lip set. I think this is super cute. It comes with a plumping serum and then all of these minis in really wearable shades. I think these are really pretty. I used to be obsessed with Buxom lip glosses and I don't know why I haven't used them in quite a while so I thought this was the perfect opportunity to pick this up. This is a really good deal in my opinion. I love that all the shades are have girls names and I think that's super cute so I can't wait to put these to the test again and see if I love them as much as I used to. Okay I also picked up this Moroccan oil set. I used to have a small travel size version of the Moroccan oil and I really liked it. Moroccan oil is really nice for your hair, and you know, it's a great leave-in treatment. So I picked this up. It was $49. I think the um, packaging is super cute. This comes with the Moroccan oil treatment and the hydrating style cream. I don't think I've tried this out before, but I just want to rejuvenate my hair, and I think that this stuff is going to be really good for it. All right, these are the Midnight Minis from Laneige. Everybody has to hop on this. This is such a great deal. All five minis plus the little, you know, spatula is only $19. I picked this up for my coworker as well for her birthday. And I really love these. I have the original one that I've been using right now. And it is really nice. It coats your lips. It, you could wear this as a lip balm. You don't have to wear this just as a sleeping mask at night. It'll definitely protect your lips from all the wind and stuff is starting to get cold in your area but it makes your lips look really pretty and plump and just healthy and I really love that. Okay I have three more products to share but you're gonna have to come back for a part three. Hey y'all finally I'm gonna do the huge Sephora employee slash grand opening haul. It's a lot of stuff so I'm just gonna do a few things at a time. First, I got a Charlotte Tilbury bronzer, and I said I wanted to get a new bronzer because I don't like my Too Faced one. I got a mini one size translucent powder and a one size concealer. And I actually wanted to show you guys the coverage on this freaking concealer. It is amazing. Like, one dot of this stuff. The coverage is insane on that. Like, oh my god. Next, I got the Sol Janeiro Boom Boom Bum Bum. The scrub, and the scrub honestly has so much more scent in it than the cream. And then I got the Soja de Nero hair oil. And then the one size ultra pink powder that he just came out with. And it's honestly, it is so good. It's so amazing. I've already started using it. It's so good. I need to go faster. I have a lot of stuff. Alright, and then I got the Super Goop, like the best sellers kit. So I got the glow screen, the play, and then the unseen sunscreen. And then I got the Peter Thomas Roth, uh, the 24 karat gold under eye patches. And then I got the Sol Janeiro 
Capa Cabello bronze or whatever, and it smells just like 62, so it smells so good. And then, speaking of 62, I got the like real perfume version of it. I got the Dr. Jart that Tiger Grass color correcting cream. I got a Charlotte Tilbury setting spray. I got a super group lip sunscreen a mini ysl black opium perfume i got a mini prada ocean perfume for my boyfriend i got the win and rio perfume by sol de Nero. i got another fair medium charlotte tilbury contour wand because i'm about to run out of mine charlotte tilbury powder in the shade fair pale i got the clean reserve perfume in the scent warm cotton <laughs> and then i got a rare beauty blush my cream blush because it's literally my favorite and the apricot shade so when i run out of that i have some more and then i already opened it and started using it but my little sephora powder puff and that is all my stuff hey guys so i have a massive haul so all this came when I wasn't like here when I was in Poland. Okay, we're gonna start off with the Sephora package. Yes, yeah. Love Sephora. Um honestly, I have to like say the truth. I completely forgot what I ordered. Okay, I also just like, chopped my hand off. Okay, so first are the samples. Okay, so first I got the Dior foundation, and I also got the Huda Beauty foundation. Alright, now for the fun part. This was the concealer kit. I'm pretty sure you just used the code concealer. So, I'm gonna, when I get this out, we're gonna see what's inside. Okay, so, first we have... I love how it came in a little package. The Urban Decay All Nighter Sun Spray. Thankfully, got a new one because my other one is, like, completely gone. This is a trial size, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it is. Okay, another trial size that I got is the... I cannot pronounce that for life. But setting powder. Cute. Okay, I'm going to speed this part up, showing all the concealers. Mars. It Cosmetics. Charlotte Tilbury. Hourglass. Animals. Too Faced. Rare Beauty. Ilya. Art. Process. And Beauty. I absolutely love this because I love samples. So, yeah. But now let's actually like, open the other stuff that I actually ordered. Okay, so first, to complete my Sol de Janeiro collection, I got the Rio Radiance. One of my friends said it smells like hand sanitizer, but I'm gonna get this open. We're gonna smell it. Okay, let's give this a smell. Don't really know what. Okay. That does not smell like hand sanitizer. I actually really like the scent. Okay, love. Absolutely recommend. Next, my first Rare Beauty product. I got the Soft Pinch Blush in shade Lucky. I cannot wait to try this out. And the color is stunning. Okay, so the last thing I got was the Laneige Lip Sleeping Mask in Pink Lemonade. So it came with the applicator cute and here's how it actually looks let's see this one that is so cool oh my god it's do not even get me started on how it smells it smells so good okay so i just put it on and it's bomb i just put this on and it's bomb i absolutely recommend this too okay so that is it for part one of my haul bye guys go watch part two I'm at Sephora right now. I'm going to be showing you all the new gift sets with prices. Okay, this is so nice. So it's Glow Recipe. You get three. You get, these are actually full sizes. It's for $62. Not only is the packaging pretty, it's actually really good. I love Glow Recipe, so I definitely recommend this one. They have the Sephora palette for $36. You guys, look how pretty that is. Oh my god, it has so many colors. Wait, you guys. Oh my god, they have little mini ones. So it's for $25 and you get all these little miniature ones. I really love that. So you can like put them in your bag and just things like that. This is so cute. You guys, look at this. 
these are so cute and they're only $39 and you get three and these are the colors you get which are really nice they also have this gift set it's for $34 and it has all the Sol de Janeiro scents and they are travel perfume sizes so I think this will be really cute this one is for $42 and I really like this one because it has not only the spray it has the lip butter the shower gel and the lotion so this is actually a really good deal they also have this one for $30 which is more of like a miniature size okay so this one has to be my favorite because I love glow recipe it is $34 and you get all these little miniature ones this one's for $24 and I feel like this would be a really cute like stocking stuffer they do have some drunk elephant ones and these are $98 I love these lip balms and these would be another good stocking stuffer and they're for $43. This one comes with four and it's for $26. You guys, ooh, this one's a really good one. It's for $49 and you get three of the Summer Fridays lip balms. This one's $20 and it has like the little miniature lip mask. This is so cute. They also have this one for $22 which comes with the lip balm and the lip mask. Okay, I really love this one. It's for $50 and you get all of these like skincare, self-care face masks. They have one for your hands, for your feet, your lips, your under eyes. This is actually a really nice one. They also have this one for $25, which is similar to that one, just a smaller one, and it comes with a cute bag. I hear really good things about this, and it's for $32, and you get two. This is Drunk Elephant for $74, and this is literally all the goodies you get. Okay, this one's for $54, and it's the Charlotte Tillsbury Pillow Talk. These are all the little goodies you get. This is a really nice one as well. Okay, this one's $28, and it's Orgasm and NARS. This one's $48, and I've actually been wanting to try this, so this is like a really good set. You guys, look at this. It's $49, and it's an advent calendar. You get 24 little goodies. Okay, this one's for $39, and it is so cute. I love using this during the summertime, even as my foundation, and it's for $30. This one's for $64, and I heard really good things about it. I've never tried it, so let me know if you guys recommend this. You guys, I love this. It's $98, and this is all you get. Even the lip oil is in there. This is a really good one. Okay, so I really like this gift set, not only because the bag is pink, they have like really good options. It's for $58 and a value of $184. So this is like not bad. This is so cute. They also have other ones. This one looks like it focuses more on like the glitz and glam, and then this is more on like the lip products. So this one's $45, and then this one's $49 some box to see what I got at this floor sale this year. I did two online orders and one in-store shop. So let's see what I got. I got things that I've been eyeing for a minute, but hadn't like pulled the plug in yet because if I'm gonna buy stuff and there's a sale, that's the perfect time to get it. Let's get into the first package. First thing I got was this Patrick Ta dual-ended sculpting brush. This is the contour brush i heard really good things about this and i'm excited because i'm a bronzer contour girly and i feel like this brush will make it so easy i also got the nose contour brush from patrick ta as well i'm so excited to use this because i want to get into my nose contour game i feel like i just like to put bronzer on top of my nose but we're gonna get into the snatch moment and i feel like this brush is gonna make it so easy as well i also picked up his major sculpt bronzing shades in the shade she sculpted and she's bronzed I was waiting to pull the trigger on this one because I'm really happy with like my bronzing products, but I heard so many good things about these that I'm like, I need to try them for myself. So I got them in the She's Sculpted, which is the more cool tone for contour, and She's Bronze for that warmth, bronzy look, which you know I love. Next thing I got was this one size ultra pink setting powder. I've seen really good things about this and heard a lot of good things about it. Um, supposedly like blurs and brightens and I just love a good translucent powder. And if it's pink, it's gonna really brighten up and highlight that under eye. I picked up this Fenty bronzer in the shade Caramel Cutie. I saw this girl Amaya using it and I absolutely love the undertone of it. It looks kind of similar to my Ilia bronzer, but it might be a little darker, which I'm totally okay with. And there's other things as having so many bronzers, so I literally have four in this order. Do I care? Not the slightest bit. Next thing I got was this Ilia Multi Stick in the shade In The Mood. She's like a nice peachy coral, but she gives like a nice 
sheen and I saw like an influencer using it um, as like a nice highlight as a nice blush topper and I feel like it's gonna give like that nice gold reflex which I love the appearance of supple glowy healthy skin I just got me the L'Occitane hand cream because there's no such thing as having too many hand creams and I can't stand when my hands are dry so cool that I'm always looking for a really good eye cream so I wanted to try out this Murad targeted eye day puffer for the mornings that I wake up extra puffy I need all the love that I can get. <laughs> got a regular pencil sharpener because I lose mine all the time and you can never have too many sharpeners. I got this Color Wow Extra Large Bombshell Volumizer. Um, supposedly it really makes your blowouts just like look extra extra full with hella volume. So I'm excited to try her out because I really want to get into more hair products so that the finished final hair look is like to the nines. Next thing I got was this Huda Beauty lip liner in the shade Terracotta. I just swatched her, but she might be a little too warm for me. I'm gonna have to try her out and see if I like her, because if not, she going right back. <laughs> got this powder brush. It's the number 59, because I'm looking for an all over base brush for my Makeup Forever powder, and I felt like she was really pretty. For the first time in a long time, the one size setting sprays were finally back in stock. So I had to grab two because they're literally my favorite sprays. They just make your makeup last all day. You can literally wake up with your makeup still on. And I love that it mattifies because my oils will come out throughout the day and I don't like to look too dewy too quick. So these sprays do the justice. I picked up the Beauty Blender Powder Pocket Puff. I see Amory's using this all the time and I have the Amazon ones, but I feel like this one, must be even better, so I needed to try it out for myself. But that's all I got at the Sephora sale. I will not be buying any more makeup until further notice because I don't need it, but I'm so excited to play with all this new makeup and see what different looks I come up with. See you guys later, bye. I have a massive Sephora haul. I just got my perm, or sorry, not my perm. I just got my hair done. It doesn't look good because I'm pretty sure it does. It costs like a million dollars. So I went to Sephora and I got a big Sephora spending. It was about like a billion dollars. Yeah, can you believe that? So let's get into it. So first, this is our big Sephora haul. I mean, our big bag. So the first thing I got was this like Chinese thing. This is about like $1.2 billion and it smells amazing. It's a perfume. It was, it's good. Okay, next, oops. Next, I got these makeup remover wipes. It's um, also flushable wipes. This is what they look like. Um, a worker told me that they were for your butthole, but I'm pretty sure they're for your face, and they like are makeup wipes. So yeah. Next is the moisturizer. This was like, oh sorry, this was 779k dollars, and now I have this moisturizer that was one million dollars. And it actually is really soothing on the face. Shiny. So yeah. And it's also made with shea butter. Even amazing. And look at how big this thing is. Like, I have another moisturizer. This is my moisturizer. And it's about, can you guess? $3 million. And look at the difference in size. And I have to get like, I used a whole bottle in one, like, one, one. One serving. I got this shirt. It's from Gucci. Guess how much it was? Yeah, you got it. You got it right. I don't know how much it was. Um, next I got this Claire's. It's a toner. It's actually not from Claire's. That's just the brand it is. And this is amazing. It smells like alcohol, rubbing alcohol, and I just love the smell of it. So, oops. That also smells really good and is soothing on the face. This was about a hundred k dollars. And they give me it empty. Like, <laughs> rip off. Next, I got this spray. This is, um, facial mist. And I believe this was, like, $2. Yeah, can you tell the difference? Now, this is my, like, $3.2 billion. And I use it every day. But then I got this new one for $2, and I wanted to try it out. Mm. It's really good. It smells like Halloween. All right, next, I got this, like, lipstick, I guess. Why is it in such a big thing when it comes up this small of a thing? And this is what it looks like on the lips. Yeah, I like it. It looks really nice on your lips. And I will just definitely keep buying it because it's a 
white purchase. This was about 2.9 K dollars. Next is um this like let's see what it is. Oh, it's this like bouncing face thing. It's from Drunk Elephant, and there's like some stuff in it. There's something in it. But it gave me like two pumps. Which is kind of a ripoff. Which is this was thirty-three thousand. Next is this. Ooh, this is my favorite. This is my bronzy drops. This is what it looks like. The bottle's a little messed up, but this is what they look like. I'm gonna use some and put it on my face. So this is what it looks like. You could just dab it on your face and it looks amazing. I just had to rub it in a little bit because it did look like sharp. That was probably one of my best purchases of the of the day. And this was $22 billion, if you can't tell. Next is this stuff. I don't even know what it is. Oh, it's my lipstick as well. Um, you're supposed to use a Q-tip. So I got these from also Sephora. They're about like two dollars as well. Like not that expensive, but you just dip it in here and then you just put on your lips. It's really amazing. It's like minty fresh too. This would also be used as a toner. This was ten thousand dollars. Next onto this small bag. So first I got this like enlightening um from rare beauty it's like also like brightening stuff that goes into your eyes um it's brand new so like i haven't used it yet but like oh it's really minty it goes under your eyes oh it's gonna make me cry but it makes your eyes brighten up and it's kind of like a, it's like a liquid like a liquid why do i not know a liquid i don't know it'll come back in mind but it was one million dollars Sorry, 1.2 million. So next, I got this like ordinary stuff it's for your face. The box is kind of torn up, which is I was really upset about. But it's this uh, also under eye cream. It's for cream, but I use it under my eyes because it's like really nice and it's called under eye. This was only 1.729 billion dollars. Yeah, it's kind of small, but it's also really worth it. Next is this like night cream that I got. It's actually really nice. Ooh, it's hard to get out of the box. Um, it's this nausea stuff, and it's just amazing. You just like put it on you, and it makes your skin look really shiny. And it's like a under eye boost. It's like a facial boost. Boost. Next is this uh, resurface thing, and it's like amazing. Like it makes your skin smell amazing. Smell it. And it's for kids, but I wanted to use it because, you know, who doesn't want to use something to make your skin like a baby? So I'm actually going to take those those um, makeup wipes and take off my um, under eye cream because it's kind of burning my skin. I might have to return that. I might just return it and get something else. Um, but we are not done. We have two more things. So it's this, like, stuff that you, like, wrap around you. And it's supposed to like refer stuff so it opens up like this and that you just use it like this where's the open um open it up like this and it like goes around your face like this i believe and you just like keep going around it oops it's getting stuck in my hair and yeah, that's what it looks like. And it like makes your skin really soft if you put it over your skin. And it kind of like suffocates you. But it was my birthday, so I got this like glow recipe stuff. And it came with cleanser and like another treatment for my skin. See, now my skin looks really glowy and it reduces your hair. So it makes it look even shinier. Um, so it told me it came with this, but it came with green instead of pink. But I guess that's okay. Because this was actually worth money because I wanted to get the green, I guess, instead of my pink. Because green is just better than the pink. And why would you get the pink? Um, this was 2.9K because my mommy loved to get me this. And you know, if I told her, if she, if she told me, if I knew that she got me the pink, I would make her return it. So yeah, that was my haul. And um, I actually have one more thing to tell you. Is um, This is how big the receipt was. Yeah, and the total was 
two point sorry nine hundred and ninety nine point six billion dollars. Yeah. Um, my mommy bought this all for my birthday, and I'm really appreciative. And also, my daddy got me a bunch of Sephora stuff. So if you want me to do another video of what my dad got me, I will link it down, or I will do another video. I hope you like my video. Bye, guys. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls always over blush. Gorgeous, gorgeous girls are always in a rush. As a proud Sephora Rouge member, I'm going to be showing you guys what I got at the Sephora sale. So I went to two different locations. One was in Kohl's and then one was in the mall. So starting with Kohl's, I went to this one today. I got seven things. So I'll start off small. I got the Super Goop and this is the mineral stick and then this is the lip shield in coconut so for hair products i got the whey leave-in conditioner and i haven't tried this yet but it's the mini one and then i restocked on the olaplex number no. five bond maintenance i got some new products from makeup by mario this is the soft sculpt transforming skin bronzer and then this is the eyeliner and then I just got the Dermalogica Power Bright Dark Spot Serum. And then I restocked on the Glam Glow Bright Eyes. Moving on to what I got yesterday. And this is at the mall. I love a good glow moment. So I picked up the Glow Recipe Plumping Power Duo. I also got the Viral Hair Oil. I don't know exactly how you say this brand, but I've heard really good things about it on TikTok. I am a lover of Benefit, especially their eyebrow products, so I wanted to try out the Fluff Up Brow Wax. I got another Precisely My Brow Pencil, and then I got the big version of the Give Me Brow, which I've been obsessed with. I also got another highlighter, and this is the Dandelion Mini. It's not a Sephora haul without Rare Beauty, so I got the highlighter in Enlighten, and then I just got another mini mascara. Everyone knows how obsessed I am with Sol de Janeiro, and I originally went in there to get the Illuminizing Cream, but I didn't like the scent, so I picked up a classic. I almost left this out, but this is a restock on the Benetint Blush, and if you've never used this, it is so good. From the Queen herself, some Charlotte Tilbury, and this is the Perfecting Powder, and everyone knows the contour wand. This is the Too Faced Cloud Crush in Tequila Sunset. I got the Tatcha Mist. A new beauty blender, but this is a small one for blush. This is the Ilia Mascara with the dual wand. The Fenty Beauty Eavesdrops. And last but not least, I got a mini NARS concealer in medium toffee. Back with another Sephora haul, and I can't wait to show you what I got. So it's nearly filled to the brim, and I have so many products in here. I'm obviously super, super happy with everything my parents spoiled me with. If you don't like this, again, scroll by. You don't have to watch it. Just don't hate on us because it's not fair. Okay, before I begin, this Sephora literally had everything. Like, I'm not joking. I was in the drunk elephant section, and I couldn't find any bronzing drops. But then the little mini section, I found like over five bronzing drops there. The only thing they didn't have was the Goldie drops. Also, a quick appreciation for my jump I got today at the Warner Brothers studio. I've been trying to find this product for so long and it's never in stock in Call of Duty, but I finally got it. I love how elegant this product is. Like it's made of glass and it makes it much more chic and pretty. And also I tried it on my hand yesterday and it's so good. This is by far my favorite. A very similar product. This is, I think, new as well. So Supergoop also has these like bronzing stuff and they have like different shades and I couldn't find the one I wanted, but it's still like a nice like brown color. Um, it's close but you can kind of see it here. Actually, most of my stuff is from Supergroup here. So I also got the Play Sunscreen. This is my, hold on. This is my favorite, favorite, favorite. It's about to finish, I got another one. Okay, I got this because Kiki Fang has this and I love her. So this is also another sunscreen. It's like a watery one. 
this little beauty blender I've been chasing for a long time. So I wanted to get this back in like 2000 and 2020, but when I found out it was $20 for a beauty blender, I was like, no. I don't know why, but it's also one of my favorite purchases. Touchdown hand sanitizer. I had been trying to find one of these in London, but obviously didn't have any. So I saw these in like Sephora in the US and I was so happy. I also got it in the sense vanilla blossom. You know how I keep changing my hair, but I got the closest concealer because mine is over a year old and it expires at six months. I love brow gel and it's always looked appealing and I finally decided to get it. I mean, come on, it's gorgeous. So this has become my new favorite spot cream. I have the mini of this and I have a huge like spot on my chin. I use this twice, gone. Like I'm not joking, it's a, a Zeliac Acid Booster 10%. Just take a screenshot and get that product because it is insane. Out of all my spot creams, that is my favorite. Okay, I'm obsessed with Summer Fridays and this shit always looks so gorgeous. Also, I'm wearing the vanilla one right now. Um, but the shade looks so gorgeous as well. Off makeup terms, but is anyone having a Killian Murphy face right now? Because I am. Like, I'm sorry, but he's gorgeous. I watched him in Oppenheimer and he was so good. Basically, I signed up for the Sephora subscription. So, like, every month I get, like, mini samples. And I think my subscription got cancelled because I got, like, hacked in my account. I don't know. Anyways, so I got the Pillow Talk lipstick and then I loved it. So, I got the bigger version. If you want a good lip gloss, Tartoon is the one to go to. I already have one. She's my fave, but I want to try a different shade. This one looks very gorgeous because I love like red lipstick cloth and everything. So I got that. No reason for getting the Tarot 20 um, mascara, but the wand looks gorgeous. Also, look at that. It's so gorgeous. So I was like, hey, I might as well get it. Just found out my brother broke the hotel fridge. Okay, I've never bought a bonzer this big in my life. Like this is just a crazy size. But first of all, it's easy to apply. It's a gorgeous color. And just look at that. Okay, the revealing moment. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see, but it's really smooth, easy to apply, and like really blendable. And look at that packaging. Okay, and lastly, this set. Okay, basically, Paula's Choice Skincare literally works so well. And they have like this clear skin set. So they've got like a bunch of products in here that will get you clear skin, hopefully. Okay, so first, if you get a travel size face, face wash, I already have this. I haven't seen much of a change with it though, but yeah. Okay, then there is this anti-redness exfoliating solution with salicylic acid. I don't know what it is, but they have like instructions in this kit, so yeah. Okay, and then we have an oil-free moisturizer with vitamin B3 and blueberry, okay. And a daily skin clearing treatment, so yeah. It's basically just like a skincare routine that will get you clear skin. Okay, so that's the end to my Sephora haul. I am so happy with everything and I can't wait to try them. Love you guys. Guys, let's do a Sephora haul. This is $1,000 of Sephora. So I'm just going to pull from here and start talking about it. This is the Amika Dream Routine hair mask. I use this every time I wash my hair. Amika's my favorite hair product brand besides Davines or Davines, however you say it. Love. Then I got their shampoo in Normcore, the signature shampoo, because I was out of shampoo and all I had was Olaplex, and I don't really like Olaplex that much. It makes my hair feel dry. Then I got the Superfood or the Soul Food Nourishing Mask. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but I use it every time I wash my hair, so. Then I got two Super Goop sunscreens. I got the Golden Hour and Sunrise. Just for when I'm tan here, I'm gonna leave the Golden Hour and then the Sunrise I'm gonna bring back with me to Chicago. Um, my mom got two Saint Laurent Bare Look Tint Skincare Hybrid. I don't know what this is, but she got two, two different colors. And then I got the Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. I loved it when I used it yesterday. I got Youth to the People Moisturizer. I use this all the time, the Airwick Moisture Cream. Um, I stopped using this. My skin was doing awful. I started using it. It's slowly starting to get better, but I'm my skin's just going through something right now. Then I got the Kiehl's Microdose Retinol. I use this every single day. I ran out. I had the mini. Then I got, this is my mom's, the Lancome La Base Pro. I don't know what that is. Then I got... 
the Glow Recipe Mini Toner because I was using my sister's and I just needed to get my own. My mom got the Westman Atelier Vital Skin Complexion Drops. Then I got two NARS concealers. I got two different colors. I got 1.25 and 1.23. Um, I've been using minis for literally three months and I decided it was time to buy some. I'm gonna leave one here and I'm gonna bring one with me because one of them's way darker. Um, I got the Bobbi Brown Vitamin Enriched Face Base. You guys, this is so worth the hype. I know it's $100, but like, it's so big. It's going to last so long. I used to use this in high school, and I stopped using it for God knows what reason. I used it the other day. My makeup was just so, like, it went on so smooth. It felt so good. I love it. And then my mom got another Lancome product. It's the Fix It, Forget It Setting Mist. And then she also got a mini Bobbi Brown. And then she got a YSL lipstick. That is $1,000 of Sephora. And that's it. In order of the Sephora sale coming up, I'm going to be telling you guys products that you do not need from the Sephora sale. Make sure to check out my previous video where I told you things that you need from the Sephora sale. Starting off with the Glossier Balm.coms. Honestly, these aren't terrible. I just don't really like the new formula. Like, the old formula was so good. Like, I kind of like the applicator of this one, but I feel like it just feels, like, grainy. I don't know if it's just me, but that's how I feel. Next, the Touchland Hand Sanitizers. Okay, these aren't necessarily bad, but this one's $16, and the rest of these are, like, 10 These are just really overpriced, and I know they say that they could do, like, 500 squirts, but no. Like, 500 actually isn't a lot. You could just get, like, a $3 one from Bath & Body Works, and it'll last you so much longer. The Rare Beauty 4-in-1 Optimus Mist. Honestly, these just don't work whatsoever. Like, to me, they just feel like water. The Anastasia Brow Gel. Like, don't get me wrong, I love the Anastasia Brow Freeze, but this one just doesn't do anything. Super Goop Glow Screen. This isn't necessarily bad, but I just don't really like it that much. Personally, for me, it's really hard to find a sunscreen that I like. Moisturizers. Starting off with Charlotte Tilbury. I do use this, like, every single morning, though. Don't get me wrong, this is really good, but it's super overpriced. Like, just for this is 65 bucks. Once I'm run out, I'm probably never gonna buy it ever again. The Drunk Elephant Lala Retro. Okay, I love the applicator, but no. For me, this just, like, evaporated twice. I don't know what happened, but it's just a no. And honestly, the formula is really thick, so if you do like this product, and but you don't like how thick it is, use the Dewdrops from Glow Recipe with it. It'll help thin out the formula. Benetint and Posy Tint. I don't think the Posy Tint is, like, here anymore, but I'm just going to be talking about the Benetint then. This is a really pretty tint, but it doesn't last. Like, as I'm rubbing it, like, in, it, like, disappears. And even if you put a lot on, it just doesn't really show that well. And if it does, it fades away within, like, 10 minutes. Drunk Elephant Under Eye Serum. Okay, so, not gonna lie, this serum is really good, but it's $64. Like, nobody needs a serum that expensive. So, if you want to spend a pretty penny, get that. If not, get something way cheaper. The Charlotte Tilbury Concealer. So, I do really like this formula, but it's, like, glittery. You can't really see on camera, but no concealer should be glittery. I was really stupid and got this as my first concealer, so I didn't really know. But trust me, you do not want a glittery concealer. Next, the bronzy drops from Drunk Elephant. This product isn't necessarily bad, but I really like the Say Super Glowy Gel and Sun Glow way better. So many people have different preferences, so this is really like a 50-50. I would suggest you go in store and test out each one using their testers. Lastly, the Milk Bronzing Stick. So this is like relatively cheap, and I know it's really tiny, but it lasts a while. Honestly, I think there are just better products out there. Not bad, not crazy about it, whatever. And that's it. Hope this helped. Bye! I have a huge Sephora haul. Usually, I don't spend more than like $300, but this is like over $400. Also, if you hear like crunches, that's Danielle. She's my friend. She's here. Okay, first thing I got was the Glow Recipe Toner. Because I have the mini version and it's really good. And look at it. I like the glass. It's so, like, nice. Because I'm almost out of my little birthday one. No. Okay, next thing I got from Glow Recipe was the Dew Drops. I have the mini size in this. But look at the bottle. They aren't as big as I expected, but whatever. Next, I got the Rare Beauty, uh, the lip, like, oil. I got it in Hope because I have their blush and it's so pretty. Oh, it's like bent. What? I love her beauty. They're so like aesthetic. 
Next from Rare Beauty, I got their blush in Encourage. I already have two. I have Happy and Hope. But this one, I didn't really look at the color online. Oh, it's really like purpley in real life. Um, I'm probably not going to use this color that much because. And then these are two things I didn't order. They were free. I got the Tower 28 um, Recovery Serum and the Drunk Elephant Hydra Serum, even though I literally have the massive one, but it's okay. But this will be good to travel with, and this is the Drunk Elephant one. And then something else from Drunk Elephant is their Polypeptide Moisturizer. Um, oh my gosh. I'm so excited about this. I got this because I actually am, like, out of moisturizer, so yay. Feels nice. I know I told you guys not to buy this, but like I needed new moisturizer, so okay. Then I got the Tower 28 lip jelly in XOXO. I already have this one in like wild, and Danielle loves this one. So we got this one. This is more like a lip gloss color. It's like Er. Okay, then I got the NARS concealer. Um, okay, this is kind of insanely tiny. NARS, $15 for a little vial. This is going to work a total of three times. I'm out of time, but go to part two. Okay, guys, get excited. I have a Sephora package. Please ignore my hair, but this is $300 worth of Sephora products that I got for $65 during the Sephora virtual event. Okay, first things first, I have this makeup bag. It's not the best quality, but I could see myself using this for traveling. And now for the actual exciting stuff. Look how much stuff is in this box. Like it's filled to the brim. Okay, so first I got the 68 cream from Soleil de Janeiro. Then I have the Laneige set, and it has the lip mask, the water sleeping mask, the moisturizer, cleanser and hyaluronic acid next three perfume samples i have this k alley one i don't know if i said that right i have the lush fancy one and then this one it's from angels share by killian next i have the charlotte tilbury water cream and this is in the mini size okay next is the rare beauty always an optimist primer and i'm actually going to use a scissor to open this okay I have a mini version of this, but this is such a good primer. Okay, next I have a Function and Beauty hair mask, and this is for wavy hair, and I don't have wavy hair, so I'm going to give this to a friend. Next, I have the Drunk Elephant Proteiny Peptide Cream in a mini size. And they also included a little sample of the Proteiny Peptide Resurf Serum. Yeah. Okay, next is the Tower 28 Daily Rescue Spray. And then I have the Say Super Glowy Gel in the shade Sun Glow. Next, I have a mini Glow Recipe Plum Plum Pyrolina Cream. And I actually have this in the big size and then the lip gloss as well. Next, this is like the third moisturizer or like the fourth one I've gotten. But this is the Skin Fix. Oh my gosh, I can't talk today. The Skin Fix Triple Lipid Peptide Cream. I'm gonna try to go faster. So next, I got the Benefit FanFest Mascara, and then I also got the Natasha Denona Glam Palette Eyeshadow in this shade. And then I got Replica by the Fireplace Perfume in a mini size. I actually have this in the bigger size because they sent it to me, but I love the way this smells. And then I got the Innisfree Clay Mask, and I'm giving this to my friend because I don't really use Innisfree, but it's so cute. Next, I have the Amika Hair Mask. And then pattern leave-in conditioner. And then these are the last hair products I have to go through, but the K18 leave-in molecular repair hair mask. I'm excited to try this. And then also the Moroccan oil treatment. I'm also excited to try this one. The Fabo and Main Smooth and Shine Hair Oil. And the Briogeo Scalp Revival Shampoo. Okay, next I have the Dr. Dennis Groat's um, Alpha Beta Universal Daily Peel. A Makeup Forever Setting and Priming Spray. I think this is Caudalie or Caudalie, something like that, but they're serum. This one is the one that I'm like most excited about. This is the YSL Rouge Volupte Shine. 
and it's kind of like a glossy lipstick and the shade it's so pretty okay i have three more items but next is tatcha water cream i think this is a water cream yep this is like my third water cream product but this is what it looks like it's so cute okay and then i have nars lipstick in the shade dragon girl and then i have the danessa myrick's yummy skin glow serum in the shade main squeeze and then the fenty beauty fat milk 